welcome, welcome, welcome. Whole World Protect Thyself YouTube page. Where we face tough situations head on. Find the best decisions. This whole world self protection is key. This whole world wisdom is armor. So in this whole world, we must always protect thyself. monkey and uh, it's good to talk to you i didn't even get to tell you about the vades i have the vaccine acquired immunodeficiency disorder it knocked out my t cells i still have spike protein i'm still in cytokine storm after two years this is a hot mess monk which one did you take Lindsay? my first two were moderna and my booster was pfizer so i've taken three and i've mixed them that's that's another problem we did figure out, trace them back in my records, because everything's so uh, transparent and, and I, base, I mean, I let you, you guys see everything. I haven't hidden anything from you. Um, we traced back after my Moderna, which was in January of 2021. Um, eight months after that, we got my spike protein checked. And of course we didn't know that it was harmful then. We thought it was good. We thought, you know, good antibodies. No, it was over 2000 in August of 2021, eight months after my injections. And then I got my booster December, four months after that, that just dumped the spike on me. And here I am two and a half years later, it's in my monocyte lines. Lindsay, can I just ask really briefly, and then I will bugger off and they'll come back and report what's going on in this space. But when you took the jab, did you take it because you were, you had to because of the job that you were in? Or did you feel that that was the right thing to do for you at the time? Uh, good question. I did not want it. Um, I was concerned for two main things. Um, infertility, because I'm a woman of childbearing age that doesn't have children yet. They're, they did no studies on women and children. They didn't even test women and children. Um, and the other thing was how fast it came out. I didn't, um, I didn't do that. I didn't like how fast it came out. It takes years of research to do it. I know they've been researching mRNA forever. And if they've been researching it forever and it's not brought to market since then, then there's a problem with it. Um, I took it because our backs were against the wall. We should have never been put in that uh, to have to make that choice to begin with. They attacked and um, went after our mi military and our medical, your healers and your um, protectors. So that way your country is left defenseless because you have nobody to take care of the sick and you have nobody to fight for your country. That's what why they went after us too. Um, at first they were denying they weren't even offering religious or medical exemptions. They then had to go back because it's against the law. You have to at least offer religious exemption. Then they would um, deny a lot of the Some places as it well. The religious like, exemption, like, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just depended on your facility um, if you got a lucky ticket or not. That's what I called it. And then, um, yeah, that's how my story went, monkey, and I regret it every day of my life. Well, we're going to get you right. Don't worry. But, you know, they did make it obligatory and law in Italy. So there were no exemptions, none whatsoever. It, the only exemption there was, was if you could prove that you had been injured by the first jab. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> that you had to have the jab. And it's still law that anybody that's over 50 cannot go to work unless they've had that COVID jab. That's still set in law. And part of the new WHO treaty that's coming out, there's a whole paragraph on people that work in healthcare. So they have no intentions of letting this drop. So I'm going to bugger off now into that other space because I want to hear what they're talking about and I'll come back and let you know. Yeah, let us know what they're saying, if it's important that we need to stay. Uh... Yeah. Thank you, monkey. But, um, oh, guys, guys, this is not going to stop. They're not going to stop until all of us are jabbed, you know? They're after our genomes, Rach. That's what they want. That's why they want the population so low so they can filter what out. Do exactly. mm -hmm. What does that do? I don't know. I have no clue because I'm not a criminal and I don't know how, how to think like them. <laughs> Yeah. I, uh, okay. So let me ask you this, because a lot of the thing that um, a lot of people were saying about the nanotechnology and how they're putting the nanotech in the vaccine injured 
or not vax injured, just vaxed. Um, is that like a, is that true? Like, have you guys proven that yet? Or? There, there are researchers that there's Anna, Dr. Anna Milhasia and a group that are researching the nanotechnology side and the graphene oxide and all that stuff. I haven't been really looking into it because I'm so focused in on my DNA and the um, spike protein and, and the prions. It's kind of like we're working in sections. Um, there's, it's so complex. Um, each body system is affected, so we need people from each specialty. It's kind of like putting the puzzle together, but yes, they, ha they are seeing stuff under the microscope. I think they use dark and light microscopes is different. Um, I'll have to start filtering some info from them, uh, but Anna Mahasia is the doctor that I would follow for that. She's the one with the most up-to-date research, and she has a substack I was just reading. Um, she was just talking about the nanoparticles and, and everything like that. So, to me, it's important that we incorporate everything into it and don't leave any stone left and turned. But right now, our main focus has different priorities and, and, and is the research for the genetics. But definitely, right, yes. Oh. You know, Deej knows who I'm talking about. There's this two guys. It's two guys that we know that we're pretty close to. That, um, I, like I said, we were in a space and they were like arguing, defending the vax, saying that there were more people that were helped than injured. You were there, chick, too. There's yeah. not a study. That was a hard one for me, right? Yeah. Huh? yeah. There's not a study showing how many it saved. Oh, bye, chick. I love you. Oh, hi, Vincent. Bye, girly. Love you. Yeah, right. If anybody no, no. ever tells no, no. you. I said that was a hard space for me to get through. I had to leave that one. Yeah. I oh, couldn't... I thought you were saying you were leaving now. <laughs> no, I thought no. you were leaving I, I could not argue with him because he's our friend, you know? Yeah. yeah. If they tell I, you so many people were saved him. by the vax, that's a lie. They have not done the studies and they cannot tell the the, the numbers from that. That's just ridiculous. Same with no, the COVID save. That they were convincing everybody because there were so many people that were dying from COVID, they said. So they were convincing people by telling them, if you get this, you will not get COVID. But it ended up being the opposite, right? You know, yeah, it knocks out your immune system. And that they always do it with fear mongering. Everything, everything, everything is fear monger. I learned after the eclipse on the 8th, I am never going to fall for their bullshit again. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, if it happens, it happens, but I'm not going to be that person that's going to be instigating the fear. So, you know, yeah, don't look to me for that. Cause I am not going to be doing that anymore. Well, you're educated now, right? So when you're educated, you're not fearful. And that's the thing. They took advantage of these people because they didn't know. Nobody knew. We still don't know. The only reason I know this stuff is from my own medical results. And we've been tracking it for the past three years that they've abandoned us. So. Yeah, 